The best thing to do for any laser, whether it's a European laser or an Asian laser, I have to say first and foremost, there's a misconception. The misconception that most people assume is that having a European laser is going to generate optimal quality. And that's generally how manufacturers are going to market themselves. Certain Asian manufacturers are going to say that they are better than others. Uh, what I have to say is that as far as the laser strike quality, they're all using 532 nm, so green beams, and so they're all super fine and are able to achieve good quality. Where the difference comes in between a good Asian manufacturer and perhaps an Asian manufacturer that isn't doing as well is when it comes to the mechanics, okay? So you don't want to have a laser just stop shooting or not shoot centered or have a situation where the power is volatile, where sometimes it's burning super clean and other times it's very, very weak. So that's where the difference comes in, not on resolution. So the best thing I would always say is first and foremost, before you're purchasing your next laser, send them a file that you've generated from Cockpit 3D and don't send them a 5080 file, okay? Because those are easy to burn. Send them like a mantle file, something that would fit into a, a 180 by 120, for example, and then get them to burn that for you and record the timing of how long it took to burn and the actual burning of it so that you can see the final quality of that file that you sent. Calibration of your laser. The best way that I recommend to do this is to select a photo off of Google that has both dark and light in it. So the best example I can give you is of someone, a wedding photo, where someone is wearing a black suit and the next to him is the white dress of the bride. A mixed couple where you've got dark skin and light skin. And so you've got two different tones. And then what you want to do is you want to create your point cloud in Cockpit Treaty and send that file to your laser and burn it and see after burning it, has the white dress cracked? If the white dress hasn't cracked and your point space settings are like what we generally recommend, 0707852, oh, then in that scenario, you can actually increase your power a little more until you're happy with the clarity of the person in the white dress and you're also seeing that it's clear enough for the person that's got darker skin. That's how we do it is whenever we get a new laser, assemble a new laser, we're always going to do a test like this to make sure that the white dress isn't cracking, yet at the same time, the person's skin is nice and clear.